everyone, welcome back to Lavender. I'm Eileen, for those of you just dropping in. Today I want to talk about the law of attraction and how you can use this tool to manifest your dreams, your desires, and get anything you want. So for those of you who haven't heard, the law of attraction is basically this idea that our universe operates under this law that like attracts like, meaning whatever energy or thoughts you put out, you're gonna attract that in return. So you can think about this on a surface level, kind of like if you send out good vibes then you're gonna receive good vibes, if you're kind to others and others will be kind to you, or on the flip side, if you lie to others, if you hurt others, then others will do that same thing back to you. Basically, whatever you put out, you're gonna attract that same thing in return. So it's pretty crazy just thinking about it because it just means that you have so much power, so much control over how you shape your reality. So the general idea here is, all change begins with your beliefs and your thoughts. And so that's like the origin, the starting point for sending out the message to the universe of what you want. And through law of attraction, you can actually attract all the things that you want into your reality. Now at this point, if this is the first time you're hearing about the law of attraction, you might be pretty skeptical because you're like, what the heck, how does that work? If you just like think something, it becomes reality. Like life is not that easy. Your dreams don't come that easy and you're right. It's true. It's not that easy. It doesn't work just like that. It's not just wishful thinking. Law of attraction doesn't mean like you just think like, oh, I want to be rich. I want to have a big house and a nice car and boom, you get all of that stuff. That's not how it works. There's like all these steps that happen in between. But what the point I'm trying to make is that everything, all of reality begins here. It begins with your beliefs. It begins with your thoughts. There's not a dream that you've achieved that hasn't happened here first. Meaning you have to think about what you want before you actually get it. You have to imagine it, envision it, and know what you want. And then obviously you have to like take action and do those little steps to get you there. So if you're more of a pragmatic or practical person, this is how I would explain how the law of attraction actually works. So everything begins with your beliefs, okay? So your beliefs shape your thoughts. Your thoughts shape your words. Your words shape your actions and your actions shape your reality. So everything begins with the belief. When you have a belief or a thought about something, that's like, boom, you're sending out a message into the world, into the universe, and the universe will start to attract those things back to you. But as you focus on those beliefs and those thoughts, you start to see those transform into words, whether you're writing down your goals or you're writing to yourself in your journal or just the words that you use to talk to your friends and family to describe yourself, how you're feeling. So your words are really powerful. Your words will become your actions because you have to decide what to do before you do it. So once you start taking action, obviously we all know that action makes things happen. So boom, eventually your reality matches what you originally believed or thought up in your mind. So that is like just a quick way to explain how you can transform your dreams into a reality. And obviously there's the practical part where you're actually putting in the work, but the law of attraction also says that while you're taking action towards your goals, while you're focusing on your dreams and whatever you want to manifest, the universe will conspire to help you achieve it. So that's like the magical spiritual part that you don't have to believe in, but I believe in it because why not believe that the universe has your back? You know, the universe will support you in whatever you want to do. All you have to do is put out that thought and really focus on that thought and do the little actions that it takes to take yourself towards that goal, whatever it is. So moving on, here are my tips on how to use the law of attraction to manifest your dreams and get what you want. The first tip is be aware of your beliefs. So like I said, everything begins with your beliefs. So ask yourself, maybe use this as a journaling prompt, what do you believe to be true about yourself and your life? So write down you know, certain things that you believe about yourself and then go down your list and ask yourself, are these things that you actually want to attract more of or are these 
negative beliefs or these limiting beliefs because sometimes we believe things that don't really help us in our lives and we believe in things that hold us back. So it's really important to uncover what those beliefs are and start from there. Examples of limiting beliefs might be like, it's so hard to make money or it's so hard to finish school or it's so hard to date. You know, if you have these beliefs in your system, in your mindset, then you're gonna attract the same reality to you. So instead, you have to pinpoint that belief and then switch it, replace it with a more positive one. It's so easy to make money. Money comes easily to me. It's so easy to find a soulmate, you know? Think of ways you can flip your negative beliefs into positive ones and start attracting more of what you want. So a huge, huge thing that I have to note about the law of attraction is that you have to focus on exactly the thing that you want more of, exactly the thing you wanna attract. So don't use sentences that have a negative. For example, when you're running late, you can't be thinking like, oh, I don't wanna be late, I don't wanna be late. Because that sentence, I don't want to be late, Late is the subject. You're still focusing on the word late. So the universe doesn't read the I don't want to be part. It just reads as late. So if you keep thinking, I don't want to be late, I don't want to be late, you're going to be late. So instead, you have to flip it into a positive and instead keep repeating a phrase kind of like, oh, I'm an early bird. I'm going to be early. I'm always early. Focus on the subject. So you notice the second examples, like I'm always early, the subject of that phrase is early. That's the word that you focus on. This is how important it is to be detailed and very meticulous with your words because your words have power. Even if you're not trying to manifest something, if you even think of the word or say the word, you might be you know, attracting that to you. Another tool to help you attract more of what you want into your life is gratitude. Gratitude is the key to bringing more abundance into your life because the more that you're grateful for what you have in your life already, the more things you're gonna find to be grateful for. So gratitude is like putting out positive good vibes into the universe and attracting even more of that back to you. So if you notice, if you're generous with other people, you're gonna receive more abundance and generosity in return. So it's always it's always good to utilize these tools to put out gratitude and good vibes to attract the same thing back to your life. Another tool to bring more of what you want into your life is utilizing affirmations. So an affirmation is a sentence that is like a power statement, something that you want to embody, something that you want to become your life and your reality. So the most powerful thing about affirmations is that it is written and read in the present tense. So whatever it is that you want in your life, you can write it into a statement, but make that statement like a present tense statement, like I am blank or I have blank. For example, I personally like to read affirmations at night before I go to bed. I just repeat them in my head. Last night I was repeating, I am powerful, I am guided, I am protected. The universe has my back. So something like that I'll repeat over and over and over in my head just so I can ingrain it into my beliefs so that that can trickle into my actions and my reality. And also, you know, summer's coming up. Lately I've been getting more into fitness and health and one of my affirmations is, I am beautiful, lean, with thin thighs and abs because I really want to manifest a more healthy and fit body. So literally, like I wrote that down on my whiteboard and I've been saying that phrase to myself on and on and on just to remind myself to eat healthier or go to the gym and just let that statement empower me to take the actions in my life to get myself there. Another thing you can do that's really helpful is to start journaling your dreams and your desires as if you already have them. So journal that in present tense, whatever your dreams and your goals are, write a journal entry in present tense like, oh my God, I just reached this goal, and then explain how do you feel about it, how what's around you, what's happened in your life because of that. Just journal as if, it's real, journal as if it's happened, because the more that you feel this goal is real, the more you feel it into your reality, the more you're gonna attract that reality to actually come sooner. This is really powerful because when you're journaling as if this thing is real, you bring your emotions into it, and then you explore the details, you kind of 
plan out all the details of that reality. And once you know the details, the more you're gonna be able to attract that thing to you, the faster it's gonna happen. Another tool you can use to manifest your dreams is a vision board. Now, I've already made previous videos on how to make a vision board, which I'll link here, but a vision board is just a way to envision the dream life that you want, the feelings and the visuals that you want, because visuals are very powerful, so the more that you can see it as a reality, the more you're gonna attract that thing to you. The next step that's also really important to manifesting your dreams is to change your behavior to act as if your dream is already real. So I already talked about journaling, writing that journaling prompt as if you've already achieved your dreams. Now I'm talking about acting in your day-to-day -day life as if that dream is a reality. For example, when I was just starting out with my channel, it was really small, I wasn't making any money off of it. I would go out and meet people and they would ask me, what do I do? So in the beginning, I would be really hesitant to tell them what I was working on. I'd be like, oh, I'm just dabbling in some things. But eventually, I just started to own it. I started to be more confident in it and just say, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a full-time content creator. Even when I wasn't making that much money off of it, I acted as if that was my full-time job and that's what I did. And the more that I stood firm and confident in that, the more it became my reality where now that's where I am. Another thing I do is I make decisions based on what my future ideal self would make. So my future ideal self is a successful businesswoman and so she would be willing to spend money on resources or tools or things that will help her. She would be able to spend money hiring people to help her run her business. So even when now I'm in a very small part of my business and if I were to look at my current situation, I'm like, okay, I can't afford to spend money on this course or I can't afford to hire someone right now. But I try to make those bigger decisions to bring myself to that next level because I know that's where I wanna be, so I make the bigger decisions now, if that makes sense. So change your behavior to match what your ideal self would do and act as if you've already achieved the goal that you wanna achieve. All right, so the last tip on how to manifest your dreams is obviously take action. Action is such a huge part of this equation and I truly believe that once you take action, the universe will take its action and it will conspire to help you achieve your goals. The universe works with you. So like I said, like attracts like. If you take action, the universe is going to take action too. So you want to work together. The universe is your collaborator. If you sit there and you just wait for things to happen, the universe is also gonna sit there and wait for things to happen, which means nothing's gonna happen. So remember to always take action because we do live in a material, real world where you have to do things to move forward and make things happen. So I hope you liked today's tips on how to use the law of attraction to manifest your dreams and get what you want. These tips are really just like the tip of the iceberg because I feel like the law of attraction is a huge topic that you can really, really dive deep into. So I might go into more videos in the future. For now, I'll leave it at that. I do want to share my inspiration lately on Law of Attraction. It's this YouTube channel called Leor Alexandra. So I'll link all of her videos below. She has really great videos. So yeah, I do have a challenge for you today. I want you to think about one thing that you want to manifest in your life. Whatever that one thing is, I want you to write a comment as if that thing just happened. It could be one sentence, it could be a whole paragraph about your day and how great you feel that it happened, whatever. I just wanna hear what it is that you're manifesting. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Love you all and see you next time. Bye.